So I'd like to introduce Brittany. She is 25 years old and she is now three months after um, augmentation of her breasts using ideal implants via the underarms with the endoscopic approach, something I do a lot of. And I would say this is an operation that I really love because as you can see, she has a beautiful result. There is no scar to hide. There is no scar in her breast. There's nothing around the areolas. There's nothing in the fold. She chose the ideal implant for a variety of reasons. Uh, I think if I'm summarizing correctly, she doesn't want to have to worry about silicone gel. She doesn't have to worry about monitoring her breast for rupture because if one of these implants fails and leaks, it's leaking salt water, which is absorbed by her body. And she'll know that right away by looking in the mirror. So she doesn't need to think about MRIs or ultrasounds. This implant has the lowest rupture rate in the industry. And furthermore, if this implant were to rupture, were to fail, it's a matter of simply removing it and replacing it. She doesn't need removal of capsules. She doesn't need removal of scar tissue that's full of gooey silicone because there is no gooey silicone gel at all. Now, you can see, and, 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 and you see her pre-op photos that show that she's quite lean. Nonetheless, this ideal implant doesn't have the problems of the traditional saline implant. You don't see any ripples. She's beautifully soft. And the feel is a very, very natural feel. It doesn't bounce back as fast as a traditional saline because, and that's part of the whole invention of the ideal implant, there's baffling uh, layers inside that make the flow of saline slower. Now she's only three months out, so her scar is not yet mature, but this is the extent of her scar at this stage. And we have every reason to expect that doing nothing, this scar will probably be invisible um, in, uh, in, in six to nine months. Um, I think she's gonna have it treated uh, with a laser to get the pink out even sooner, but you can see it's all done through here. And again, if this were to rupture, we can remove this. Um, I never guaranteed, but based on my experience with traditional saline implants, we can get in, remove it, put in a new one, and all preserving the fact that she has absolutely no scar in her breast. So I think this is a, a, a really great result um, that she can be proud of, and while still having the peace of mind and just not having to worry about that possibility that silicone gel might not be the best thing for her in the future. So there you go. Ideal implant, uh, 300 cc's on one side, 275 on the other, which just improved a tiny bit of asymmetry that she had and a wonderful result. Thanks.